competes for the 600 micros here at Dyna Gas City. Top five go to the A main. Top two will go to the redraw out of the heats here. Schedule to go on the pole for heat race number one. The driver of the 35 out of Denver, Indiana. That'll be Justin Harper. And at the outside of him, the driver of the 38 machine. That'll be Billy Briscoe. Row number two on the inside, the 1S out of Avon, Indiana. That'll be Michael Sh Schimmel. And the outside of him, driving the 1D out of Cutler, Indiana, that will be Dylan Cromer. Row three on the inside, the 9 machine. Out of Westfield, Indiana, that will be Chris Dickey. Alongside him, the 7 out of Upland, Indiana, that will be Rob McLean. Row number four will be Brandon Sweat aboard the 35. He hails out of Van Buren, Indiana. Alongside of him, the 84 of Thomas Westergaard. Westergaard, the uh, Villa, Indiana racer. And out back by herself out of Indianapolis, Indiana, the 89. That is Katie Wagner. Once again, eight laps to the distance, top five directly to the A main. Top two will go to the redraw. Looking for nine. Looks like everybody answers the bell here. So once again, Harper and Briscoe ready to go. First of three. Heat races for the 600s here. And a very deliberate pace down the back straightaway. Almost a herd of turtles here. Front row, very, very slow here. Looks like they're gonna pick it up. Green flag in there, we're off and racing here with the 600s. Once again, top five go to the A main. Lap number one looks like it's going to be the 35. Justin Harper showing the way of the nine machine right now. Chris Dickey was on the bump on the hot seat there. So he will challenge for that four spot on the back straightaway. Two in, six to go here. Heat race number one. Now your leader, the 35, showing the way down the back straightaway. Now under attack, starting to work the top side is the one machine. That is Dylan Cromer. Cromer started this one fourth. He'll take over the top spot. Somebody is way up the racetrack. I believe that's Katie Wagner in the 89. We'll stay green. And quickly, we're halfway. Four down, four to go. So the 600 micros hustle around Gas City here in a hurry. Front five. And looks like we'll put one a lap down here. I believe that might be Brandon Sweat going a lap down to that 35 machine. This one right now is all Dylan Cromer out front in that one machine. Briscoe holds out of that second spot. Back to white flag, one to go. So laps winding down here for the Micros. Schimmels will be in that third spot. Briscoe fourth. And Chris Dickey on the bump. Looks like they are all going to make the show through the heats here tonight. Dylan Cromer going to pick up the heat race win. Justin Harper comes home second. Michael Schimmel will be third. Billy Briscoe fourth. And picking up the fifth and final transfer spot will be Chris Dickey on the nine machine. So he'll head it right back to the pit area race fans. Nice round of applause for your heat race winner. And the 1D, it'll be Dylan Cromer as we move right into heat race. Number two for the Micros. This one, looking for eight racers. Top five of the AMA, top two go to the redraw on the pull. The youngster out of Michigan, Darren Nida in the 7 in alongside of him out of Warsaw, Indiana, 3W. That is Dylan Woodling. Row number two on the inside. Out of Marion, Indiana, that's Easton Ashbrook alongside of him. Third generation speedster out of Hebron, Indiana, that is Corbin Gurley. Row three on the inside. Out of Eden, Ohio, that's going to be Doug Nichols alongside him. Kokomo's Todd Kirkman in the two. Row number four. Colin Grisman rolls off on the inside of row number four in that 19. And Abby Holbein out of Ottaville, Ohio. Oh, boy. Tedious pace here through three and four. Now they pick it up. Green flag in the air. We're off and racing. Looks like Abby Holding not able to make the call.
So Young Darenina out front. Showing the way, Woodling sits in second. Corbin Gurley, son of Chris Gurley, sits in the third spot. Todd Kirkman, the veteran, fourth right now. I believe Easton Ashbrook right now sits in the final transfer spot. And so we are halfway getting a look there at Dylan Woodley. One of the top running UMP modified racers here in the state of Indiana. Does dabble in the 600s when the schedule allows. Back when he was here during Indiana Sprint Week, he was battling for the lead. Got upside down right there off of turn number two. Looking to have a better night. Trying to get in the redraw right now. In that three machine, the young Corbin Gurley. Holds down that third spot, laps quickly, winding down. Mark Orr will show him one to go here at the line to the Ollie's bargain outlet number seven. There, Nina out front. That a former wing sprint car racer from the state of Michigan. He'll pick up heat race number two. Dylan Woodling comes home in that second spot. He'll go to the redrawn corner and Gurley third. Todd Kirkman fourth and Easton Ashbrook unofficially picks up that fifth and final transfer spot. So the young teenager out of Michigan, Darren Nida picks up heat race number two. He'll head directly back to the pit area. Nice round of applause for him as we move on to the third and final heat for the 600s on the pole. The number 23. That is Kevin Hapner alongside of him. The A67 out of Huntington. That'll be Rock Miller on the inside of road number two. The 98 machine out of Indianapolis. That will be Brett Wagner alongside him. The 44 JB out of Zanesville, Indiana. That'll be Jacob Voxel. Row three on the inside out of Kokomo. The K10. That is Cole Kirkman. Alongside of Cole out of Anderson, Indiana. The 44 of Dawson Phillips. Cody Williams out of Rensselaer. The 26. And Mike Landis in the three. And this one is no bueno, no good. So we'll stack them up two by two, try once again. Let's see if they get the stink eye from Chief Starter. Mark Orr here at the line. So stacking them up two by two, we'll try it here once again. Looks better. Everybody's happy. Green flag in the air. We're off the truck. And oh my, look out. The 44 makes a left hand turn down the front straightaway. Things get a little exciting there. Mike Landis now starting to tiptoe the top side. We've seen him win here with a wing this year. Things now starting to get spread out here a little bit. Heat race number three. Kevin Hatner out front. Cole Kirkman. One of the top runners at the Circuit, Circuit City Speedway. And Peru sits in the second spot. Second generation racer. He holds on to that second spot. Right now, Cody Williams on the outside looking in. He running six here just past halfway. It's Lorenz Lear racer. Trying to close in on the back of Brett Wagner for that final transfer spot. Front two half broken away from the rest of the field. Two to go, Habner showing the way. Kirkman sits in the second spot. The Jacob Boxel is third, the three. Mike Landis and Brett Wagner right now. Round out to top five, it'll transfer the eight-man white flag in the air. One lap to go for the driver of the 23. Kevin Hatner gonna go wire to wire here. Heat number three, he'll pick up the win. Kirkman comes home second. 
Boxel will be third, Landis fourth. And I believe unofficially, Rhett Wagner will get that fifth and final transfer spot, followed by Cody Williams. So picking up the heat race win. Race fans, nice round of applause. Kevin Hapner in that 23 machine. And Mr. Klepper, that will quickly put to bed all of the heat race action here at Gas City. Up next will be a pair.